Hi, welcome to the beginner Django tutorial. We're going to show you how to create a 360 degree image gallery using images from the Ricoh Theta Z1 camera. We'll also supply the media for you so that you can download it and follow along even if you haven't purchased your Ricoh Theta yet. The example of 360 degree image gallery we're going to build allows the images to be rotated or moved with a mouse or a headset. This is similar to the experience you would have with a Google Street View image or Google Maps. Initially you have one version or one scene of the image. If you use your mouse you can rotate the image. You can also put it into full screen mode. Uh, right now I'm using the mouse. If you're viewing it in a headset you can also tilt your head to change the image. So it's quite dramatic if you have a, for example, undersea picture. These are all static images. These are not video. This video, uh, this image was taken by my friend Toyo Fujita. You can also do special effects. This was taken with a plugin for the Recall Theta. We'll have this media available for you to download so you can use it in your project. The finished project and the media used in this tutorial are available on GitHub. We'll have the link in the description of the video. You can also see a live site of the finished gallery, as well as a README. There's also a discussion that you can link to and ask questions if you're having problems. This video assumes no prior knowledge of either Python, Django, or A-Frame. However, just to give you an overview of what we'll be using in the tutorial, A-Frame is the technology that's used to display the 360 image and allow the navigation. So if you're using a headset and you turn your head, this is all handled by A-Frame. It's fairly simple to use. It's just a few lines and you'll get the effect that you want. We're going to use Bootstrap 4, which is extremely common for web development, Django 2.2, Python 3.6 or 3.7 and we'll use a database. Instead of PostgreSQL, we'll use SQLite